What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and welcome back to another Draft League battle. Today we are fighting Claduva of Mega Adana who, and her good boys. Um, yes, so this is the UPBA Season 3, Week 3. Yes, I believe this. Yes, Week 3. And... Oh boy. Well, I mean, I say this every every week, but I'm not I'm scared. Well, for, first of all, the guy I'm fighting, he's an excellent battler regardless, so I'm hope I'm I'm hoping to get something done out of this battle because I did another battle last night. No, this isn't one that I record for, but I did a battle last night and i tried something different and it actually worked i actually end up winning a game so hopefully i'm going to try the same tac tactic and um <clears throat> excuse me and hopefully make something work out of it so if you guys are excited that draft league battles are back on the channel be sure to click that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe for more battles like this and hopefully we will win this week and um yeah and i'm gonna just do it very quick recap of my of my team for this week um one change i did make um i did use a free agency for one mon that i haven't yet that i wasn't planning on using and i didn't use it i traded spirit tomb uh for uh for archaeops now i know i knew i wasn't going to be using spirit tomb so I kind of figured that that was something that I needed, especially like a hard, like a fast, hard-hitting mon like Archaeops. Yes, it goes into Fetus, yes, but he's kind of, he's probably more going to play into that, uh, that, uh, that glass cannon role, uh, because his defenses aren't that great, but he does have a pretty wide move pool, and I think the fastest mon that I have, besides Archaeops, at the time, I want to say was, um, was thunderous i believe so i'm hoping i'm hoping uh archaeops because i am bringing archaeops this uh this game so we'll see anyway so i'm i'm gonna go over the team now as always i'm gonna put the pokey paste link in the description down below as well as clad's channel so you can pro so you can check out uh his video when his goes up uh, so, yes, yeah, so, as you can see on screen, uh, we got, we're bringing the Collector, the Cliff Fable, holding the leftovers with Unaware as, uh, for its ability, with Stored Power, Cosmic Power, Soul, Soft Boiled, and Calm Mind. Cliff Fable is gonna be, um, is basically more gonna be, uh, is gonna have more of the tank role and just completely set up. And, uh, like I said, with the, uh, with the Cosm Power and the Calm Mind, it should work. Uh, next is Buzz Buzz, our Scizor, holding the Scizorite, well, because he's Mega. Uh, with Swords Dance, Roost, Bug Bite, and Bullet Punch, he's he's gonna be hitting hard. And that's sort of where I want to go. Uh, next up is Gone Bananas, our Primeape, holding the Choice Scarf with Defiant, with Close Combat, Throat Chop, U-Turn, and Gunk Shot. Next is Petri, our Archaeops, our brand new Archaeops with, with the Flying Gem with Acrobatics, U-Turn, Earthquake, and Roost. Next is the Meta, our Metagross, holding the Choice Band with Trick, Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt, and Explosion. And last but not least, we got Too Spoopy for me, and <laughs> I'm moving around here because my, my mic is kind of... Uh, Covering, covering him up, but we got too spoopy for uh, too spoopy for me. The Chandelure holding the Dark Game Z uh, with Flash Fire for its ability, with Memento, Fire Blast, Shadow Ball, and Substitute. So that's the team I'm running this week. And like I said, the Poke Paste link will be in the description down below. So if you guys have any suggestions for what I should have done, or uh, yeah, for any suggestions that I should have done or if you want to use the sets yourself you can go ahead and do that anyway that's the team for now and oh boy i will see you guys when we challenge clad so i will see you guys over there 
And we're here. Okay. Let's see what we have. Our canine, Zygarde, Mew, Mega Adeno, Type Null, and Terrakion. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. I'm just gonna turn down, turn down my mic just a tad bit. I knew he was gonna bring Zygarde, Arcanine, I believe I knew he was going to bring Mew as well, so... Mm. Um... Good luck, have fun. Who do I want to start with? I believe... The trick was originally going to be for... I don't remember who the... Who was trick for... Oh, Trick, I believe, was going to be for, um, Espeon? I kind of feel like I want to start off with Petri. I'm just trying to remember now who it was I had, um... Let me see if I can bring up Adeno here. Um... No, it was for... Suicune. That's who it was for. Trick should still work here. Um, I don't want to start off with Chandelure. Um, I'm going to start off with Metagross. I want to see who he starts off with, and I think Metagross might... Because I did put Metagross... Um, uh, I did give him high defense and high HP. gonna bring Arcanine, and that's why I brought Chandelure. And with Flash and with Flash Fire, that's definitely gonna make things easier. So if I ever see Arcanine come in, I'll do, I'll switch into Chandelure and see what we do. But I'm gonna start off with the Metagross, see what he does. I think the only one for Metagross that I need to watch out for would be Arcanine and Terrakion. Let me see if I can bring this up. And uh, Metagross. Um... Nope. It would be Zygarde and uh, Arcanine. I don't know why I thought it. I don't know why I thought Dracion could. And it looks like Type Null is normal. Oh, I know it's Silvali that can change types. Never mind. Okay, what am I saying? Hmm. Anyway. Start off with Arcanine, or Metagross. I have a feeling he might start with Zygarde. And if he does, that's gonna hurt. Base 115 speed, yeah. So I uh, go. He starts off with Terrakion. Okay. I don't think I can is <sighs> Let me see, Terrakion. If he's a setup sweeper, choice band. This is funny, because I don't know what he has. 
Um, Let's Meteor Mash. Woo! Ooh! Ooh! Okay, Tracheon. Woo! Okay. That's fine, he got Stealth Rocks off. That, that should be fine. Um... Now... I didn't put, um, no, I'm, Clefable, Clefable I did not put Magic Guard on, so he will, he, he will get hit by it, but, Comes the Arcanine. Arcanine. I think the best thing for me to do. Uh, Arcanine. If he's an offensive set, explosion will kill. Flare Blitz. Uh, now I know I'm stuck in the Meteor Mash. Um. If I send out Chandelor, if he uses Wild Charge, oh, Crunch. Hmm. Now I know that Arcanine is definitely faster. Um, yeah, that's fine. If I bring out Metagross, if I bring Metagross out again, let's say he has Crunch, I could Explosion. If he's if he's choice banded, Crunchable should do fifty. Explosion. Because I, I honestly, truly think that Arcanine might rip through my team. If he sends out Mew. won't kill, which is fine. There's a Flare Blitz. Oh, are you kidding me?
Ah, uh, okay. If I send out Archeops. I will be faster. At least I know he's not Scarf or Choice in any way, shape, or form, so he might be, um... Probably, he doesn't think I'm choice. And you turn at this range, will kill. Because I don't think he'll switch. And I'm going to turn notifications up. Arcanine's down. Who could he go with now? Type all, maybe? No. Most he can do is return. If he sends out you. Uh, Zygarde would definitely not be a good. Mm, Thousand arrows would do just about half. No, mm, oh, excuse me. What is he planning on doing? <sighs> I want to say he will send out Odd to know. Based on the calcs, the most he can do is 25%. Mew! See if I can get myself set up here. Um, let's do it again. Now he has Psy Shock. Hmm. 
And so I toggled to 9.8 to 11.6. What are you doing, Clad? So I'm ready for you. Because this Clefable has come to collect. <laughs> That's so dumb. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> All right. And if for argument's sake I get myself a combine set up, stored power will then just basically just wreck. And then I got soft boiled. Oh! Ooh! Oof! Ooh! Um. Okay. What can Zygarde do to me? Not that Zygarde. Zygarde 10%. At the range I'm at. Thousand arrows will do 24%. So I click on mines. Um We'll store power. Stored power. It won't kill. But it'll be something and I got soft boiled to keep me up. Sure the toxic will eventually start taking me out pretty hard. There's a type null stored power. Ooh. Oof. Oof. Okay. Let's get let's get more cosmic power off. Get myself bulky so that he wouldn't uh let's calm mind actually. Type null is normal. And eventually, because I got so much set up right now, I don't want to switch. Even if it's to. Even if it's to reset the toxic, I can't afford to. everyone is yeah. oh he's setting up two now Eventually, that toxic is going to take me. Can... I wonder. Does Titan all have any recovery moves? Because 
I don't think he can. Besides rest. Besides rest, I don't think he has, like, recover. No, he doesn't. He can put himself behind a substitute. You know what? I'm going to store power instead, thinking he's going to use rest. I didn't see how much the toxic took. Actually, no, I'm I'm gonna play safe this round. Cause returns only doing twelve. Just borderline thirteen. Oh, that toxic's taking thirty. Um You're gonna play it this way, are you? Okay. Toxic's gonna take me out next turn, but. At least I can get some damage off. And I know he, ha I know his Mega Adeno has protect. Oh, he's wishing? Okay. He's gonna do that. If he goes down to Titan Null... He might go into Type Null. So if I send out Primeape... If he sends out Type Null, Close Combat would be the way to go. If I send out... Oops. Oh, crap. Uh... If I sent out Archeops on his Adeno, what I'm thinking right now. Uh... 
Oh! Oh! Dang! Okay. Uh, I guess this or with a plus two attack. And he's going to protect next turn. this range like I am faster if he sends out Zygarde Acrobatics will kill. If he sends out Mew, there isn't really much I can do. And Type Null, or I th think he's going to win solely on Type Null, I think. There's a Zygarde. is going to kill. Assuming he's not fast. Assuming he's not built on speed. He'll do acrobatics. Yeah, he was. Okay. choice close combat one percent why why one <laughs> percent are you kidding me <laughs> uh... well Good game to Clad. I like I'm looking at the calc. Nine that close combat should have done 97.9 to 115.6. And he lived on one. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay. I managed to get three out of a guy who plays really, really well. So I want to give the game to Clad. Definitely. Like, I don't know, but uh, I thought I had something there. But it is what it is. Good game to Clad. I, I know it's another loss. It's a 0-3 loss, I know. But I have tried... Like, I have tried different things. Like, I normally wouldn't set up when I should be. And I did that, and I managed to kill three. So, and that was kind of my goal for a little bit. Because, like I said, Clad is such an amazing battler and everything. So, kudos to Clad. Still damn shame that he lived on that 1%. But it is what it is. And like I said, good game to Clad. And like I said before, the sets that I've used will be in the description down below, as well as to Clad's channel. So you could probably so you could watch uh, his side of the battle with his thoughts. And if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like you never did before, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer, and I will see you guys in the next video.